Well, another option to show that negative five halves is a root of this quadratic function is to use synthetic division. So here are the coefficients of the terms of the polynomial function, two, negative three, negative 10, 25, uh, written in descending order. And when you use synthetic division, if this remainder is zero, that means this number is a root. And these numbers are the coefficients of the remaining polynomial factor. So how do you do synthetic division? Well, bring down the, this first coefficient, multiply negative 5 halves times 2. Write the result here, add, multiply, add, multiply, add. So negative 5 halves times 2, the 2's cancel out, you get a negative 5, add, you get a negative 8. Negative 5 halves times negative 8, 2 goes into negative 8, negative 4, negative 4 times negative 5 is 20. And I think you can see the pattern. The root here is, uh, I'm sorry, the remainder is zero. So negative five halves is a root. So if you want to, you can write Q of X as X minus of negative five halves or X plus five halves times, and now two X squared minus 8x plus 10 is the other factor. And that factor uh, will also have, could also equal zero if uh, we're gonna find the other roots. So we wanna solve this quadratic equation. Whoops, minus 8x plus 10 equals zero. And before you use the quadratic formula, you might notice that every term is divisible by two. And now we can use the quadratic formula. X equals the opposite of B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus four times a is one, times c is five, all over two times a, two times a is one. So the number under the radical is 16 minus 20, which is negative four. The square root of negative four is a pure imaginary number, which we write as two i. Square root of four is two, square root of minus one is i. Every term in the numerator and in the denominator is divisible by two. So there are your three roots, negative five halves, two plus i, two minus i. Uh, there you go, hope that helped. Uh, I just wanted you to see an alternate solution using synthetic division. There you go. If you have any questions, post a comment.